Three, four, one. There'd be no singing involved for me today. <laughs> but it was just kind of a bit of a looks. Okay. I should bend that note. Let's try it again. melody popped into my head when I was taking a shower, which is when all good stuff happens, of course. Uh, but this thing popped into my head, kind to me, and I started humming it in my head, and I thought, okay, so this is about a guy who, like every dude at every bar ever, is there basically to pick up on chicks. And he's had a few drinks, and he finally gets up the courage to walk over and talk, and she has absolutely no interest. This is a tune that um, I've, I've had for a couple years now, but I feel like hasn't really gotten the proper treatment maybe until now with you guys. Um, but it's one that people love to dance to. Every show, we do it almost every show, and it's kind of like that moment where the, the two steppers, if they weren't two stepping before, they come out and start dancing, which I love to see. I wish I had like a good story about having country roots, but I kind of don't. I've, I've been very careful to try to not play up country roots that I don't have because I hate that. Right. Um, but I did grow up listening to one really good country band called Asleep of the Wheel. So Ray Benson and his band Asleep of the Wheel was a part of my childhood. My dad played Asleep of the Wheel every road trip, every holiday, every family vacation, Asleep of the Wheel. In my early 20s, I was homesick from work kind of channel surfing, and I stumble upon footage of George Jones and Emily Harris, and it just kind of blew up my brain. Like, something in that moment made me go, what is this? This is the best music ever. I thought country music was the worst music ever. It was something about George Jones and the pedal steel and that whole thing, it just, I don't know. Could you talk more about that? What was it about that experience that resonated I don't, I mean, with I remember you? If, if I wouldn't have grown up with my dad playing Asleep of the Wheel, I don't right. think the soil would have been there right. for me to fall head over heels in love with country music. But all I remember is hearing it. I, and there, it was something about the pedal steel, too. It was like, just got to me somewhere in there. Like, it was something that was waiting to be, this sounds cheesy even right. verbalizing, but like something was waiting to wake up. Right. And whatever it was in that moment, that thing woke up. There's this George Jones tune, um, uh, the right left hand. I put a golden band on the right left hand this time. I heard that and I was like, cool. So country music is catchy, it's beautiful, it's sad, and it's kind of funny. Okay. So I like that country music had this kind of melodramatic to the point of being, like sad to the point of being funny, kind of. If I see you the next time, I'm gonna give it one more try. Cause it could be I like a little hard to get into a button. So what we did today is we had human beings playing instruments yeah. through a board onto tape. Yeah. That's what we did. And I think it's great. And, and you yeah. can just tell when something's, you can tell when there's fire and liveness. And that's why I like tracking here today. You get people in a room, right. you show them a song, and then they perform the song. Yeah. And that is something that I think is missing. To me, the fun of playing music is playing music with people. Yeah, I think true. my first experience with music was probably church. It's yeah. a congregational thing. Yeah. And that is always the spirit that I'm kind of going for, is being able to vibe off of other people. So yeah. that, was, that was the fun part. That is where it's at. Anyway. That's right. I think. From what I said, I guess I'm no Alan Jackson. But couldn't you and I pretend? If darling, you could be just a little more. One more time. One more, same spot. Yep. 